Hi, this is uh, just going to be a quick video uh, showing you how you can download the new Windows 8 Consumer Preview in ISO format and basically how you can turn it into a bootable DVD so you can load it on your PC or laptop, okay? So the first thing we'll do is you just go to Google there, okay? And what we want to do, and just pay note of this address here, it's http colon forward slash forward slash windows dot microsoft dot com forward slash en dash us forward slash windows dash eight forward slash iso okay so i'll just leave it there for a sec so you can see there's two ways you can go about getting there you can either just type it directly into the url bar or you can type it into the search bar you know one's pretty much as good as the other and they'll both get you to the same place so that's it there now um i'm just going to highlight that and copy it okay so i'm just going to put it into the search bar here and first one that comes up then is the windows 8 consumer preview iso formats so we're just going to click in here so when you get here, uh, there's lots of different information, and there's different ways you can do this, including actually um, making kind of a bootable memory stick or something like that, and you can do it this way too. But this particular video is just for how to do it on a DVD and make the DVD bootable, okay? So what you want to do is basically scroll down to the ISO images. Okay, so you'll get your choice here. You have a choice of 64-bit or 32-bit, which is fine. So you can pick whichever one suits yourself. Um, you can also, there's different languages, English, Chinese, French, German, and Japanese. Okay, and there's little about the system requirements and things like that. Okay. So basically, all you have to do is just, uh, the other thing I should say, you don't have to sign up for, um, you know subscribe to their newsletter for windows 8 if you don't want so that's not a requirement so that's good um but you can if you want you know it might be interesting uh so basically you just click the one you want i'm just going to for argument's sake here i'm just going to click on the 32 bit one and it's going to ask me to save it okay now i'm not actually going to do it in this video i have it done already because it's a fairly sizable file and uh basically i have about a 25 meg line here and uh it still took about i think it was the guts of 18 minutes basically to come down so just for the sake of this video i think uh it's probably best if i don't because there'll be an awful lot of dead air so <coughs> excuse me so that's fine so you just click save and you save it wherever you want then and so i have it saved here already into this folder here on my desktop called windows 8 which is fine and that's it there so the thing to note about this particular video i'm making this video using windows xp okay windows xp is no native support for iso files um so you have to use a third party program so i'm actually using nero but you could use roxio or power iso magic iso there's lots of them out there okay the thing is if you were using windows 7 uh, windows 7 has native support for isos and you don't need a third party program although a lot of um you know a lot of uh, machines with windows 7 might come bundled with nero or roxy or something like that but it has its own native support for it so you could just burn it direct to dvd which is fine um so i'm just going to open up nero here so using nero what you want to do is you want to use the disk image or save project and just highlight the one you want and uh, that's it there window 8 consumer preview 32 bit english so and just click open now uh at this point you should uh you should have had your um uh, dvd your writable dvd in the dvd drive of your computer which is fine i have that in there now Um, what i'm using is a dvd minus r is a verbatim okay but the one thing to note that i always find when i'm burning dvds you c when you're setting the speed it's you know it's fairly tempting to set the speed as high as you can because it'll obviously burn a lot quicker but for just reliability i always burn at the lowest available speed okay and i'm going to select four speed here okay four x and just one copy and that's my destination drive Um, you can you know if it gives you the option to verify the data on the disk after burning you can i generally don't it just depends on you know how important it is to me or whatever and if i can't if i won't be able to make another copy of it or something like that um so that's basically it now i'm not actually going to go and burn this now for you all you have to do is basically click next um because uh, i burnt this already and it took about nine minutes to burn at four speed now obviously it'd be quicker at a higher speed but as i say i just prefer to burn it at the lower speed because in my opinion anyway things turn out far more reliable that way and that's it basically if you click next it'll just get to the end of the process it'll basically tell you your 
DVD is burned successfully and um, you know it'll spit out the drive or spit out the disc for you then and then you're ready to go on to the next step which will be in the next video which will be just um, how to boot up off that bootable DVD on your uh, laptop or computer okay so that'll be in the next video but that's basically just a quick overview of how you um, how you can find download and burn onto a, a bootable DVD the Windows 8 consumer preview